As the Orion spacecraft pulled away from Earth five days ago, it set its sights on the moon. Now, 370,000 kilometers away, the images evoke a sense of wonder, even from NASA officials looking back home. Now you are seeing the Earth, you are seeing home, you are seeing yourself in that image right there. As Orion disappeared behind the far side of the moon, in this animation flying just over 100 kilometers above the surface, Mission Control lost contact, as expected, for an anxious 30 minutes. And then, relief, as our planet re-emerged, the Artemis mission still on course are a pale blue dot and it's eight billion human inhabitants now coming into view. It's been 50 years since NASA sent a spacecraft with astronauts to the moon and back. There is additional caution now. This flight is carrying test dummies, moonikins, part of a rigorous testing that will see the spacecraft swing into a much more distant orbit before making its return. We're going to be going 40,000 miles past the moon, getting into deep space, analyzing all the uh, data from the anthropometric dummies on board, looking at the radiation environment, making sure that it performs as it should before we put crew on board the uh, Orion spacecraft. That crew is scheduled to be on board in just two years and will include one of four active Canadian astronauts. In a few months, we should hear which Canadian that will be. There will be announcements following uh, concerning the crew that will be on board uh, Artemis II, among which... Uh, as a Canadian Space Agency astronaut. In as little as three years, astronauts are expected to return to the surface of the moon. That will begin a new era, not just to visit the moon and ultimately Mars, but to establish a lunar base where humans will learn to work and to live in another world. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.